Well, Deb, they spelled your name right, but they thought my name was Peggy. Oh, I think you stole Peggy's coffee. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you called. I haven't seen you since the funeral, and I thought you'd given up on the world and learned how to make candles and shampoo. How are you doing? Um, well, I recently had a not so great dinner with some of Mitch's and my couple of friends. Oh, the dreaded posthumous couple's dinner. And did you feel like a third wheel? Yes. And did they go back and forth from talking about all sorts of fun couples things to doing to giving you sad looks of pity? Deb, were you there? <laughs> it's hard when old friends only see you now as widow Maggie. Mm. They mean well, but they have no clue how it feels. Mm. Let's go sit. Okay. No, they don't. Which is why I decided it was time to reach out to you. Well, good, because I don't see you as Widow Maggie at all. How do you see me, Dad? Mm, how do you want to be seen? As hot Maggie, or edgy Maggie, or for a good time, call <laughs> Maggie? You know, I think anything other than still not ready to change our outgoing message, Maggie, would be great. Well, I am the expert, and I think we should get started. And I know just what we're going to do on our first night out. Uh, tomorrow work? Friday night? Uh, I don't know. Let me check my schedule. Oh, yes. Turns out I'm free. Okay. <laughs> yes. Where are we going? Just dress to impress. Let me worry about the plans. Mm. Yes. Peggy. 